Praise the Lord. Thomas Matthew, the fourth year. I have a great word for you. That's a continuation of what the Lord's been speaking about for this new season and new year. And I'm amazed that this morning he spoke to me to bring it back again and to continue on this theme and series because it's a, the theme for this season of time. And the Lord said uh, something powerful around New Year's time that was very, very weighty and strong. I think it's the strongest thing I've ever heard anywhere. You know, people make these themes and models for the years, the year of this and the year of that. I'm like, mm hmm. Thank you. But what I heard, and it was confirmed uh, thousands of miles away in another continent by a great apostle friend, I, I, it's like he. It's like he was hearing the same thing. I'm going to share this very briefly, but so happy Sunday to everybody. I have a big event uh, going on. We welcome Benny Hinn uh, into the stadium. The stadium was packed yesterday, completely packed. We're on the way there. We're very, very time, uh, very restricted for time at the moment, but I just felt I had to do this quickly to make this announcement. So, um, people are calling me from there. I see people. Okay, um, I want to look at uh, us to look at Isaiah fifty-one. But before that, let me give you the title of this. This is a prophecy from the boss. You know who the boss is. The Lord Jesus Christ, Father God, and the Holy Ghost. And the Lord said this to me this morning. I'm amazed. I tell you, I heard him audibly say this to me. You know, God speaks to me like every day. Some people can't say that because it doesn't happen. But for me, if I tell you that, it's reality. Technology, man. Jesus. Okay. The Lord said, the manifestations of my promises. I wanted to write and fulfillments, but that makes the title a bit too long for the social media. But the manifestations of God's promises will override and crush frustrations and sufferings. Quotation, Thomas Manton IV. Why? Because God spoke it to me. I want to embellish the title a little bit, add a little more to it. The manifestations and fulfillments of God's promises to us personally now, this is the real title, that was the abbreviated one, will override and crush frustrations and sufferings. I could even say despair. We're in a time when a lot of people have been in despair. I look at certain people, I see they're all messed up. And uh, they try to hide it well. But if you're in the spirit and you can see, you know, people can't hide all that. I can see through it and see where, where people are at. Some people are really flowing in good things because they figured out systems on how to build. And that's what I'm into. That's, what, that's all I want to do right now. I mean, it's not the only thing. There might, have been, there might be one or two or three or four or five other things I want to do in life that are enjoyable or whatever, productive, purpose-filled. But basically, we want to create systems that work that no matter who's doing what in the world, it doesn't matter. <clears throat> we have to remember, first of all, that God is on the throne. <laughs> He's, he's the boss and he's blessed. I mean, can you, it's, it's almost like silly to say that. It's not blasphemous because blessing is a good word no matter who you apply it to. You know? Can you tell God he's blessed? He'll look at you and go, I'm the, I'm the author of blessing, so what are you telling me I'm blessed?
Why would you tell me I'm blessed if I'm the author of blessing? So if we know him, oh, you got to go. They're writing me, telling me you want me on Benny's platform. Can you believe this? This is too good. I got to pick this up later. I'm, should I apologize? Or, I don't know. Do I feel the anointing? The anointing just came through that, that correspondence right there. So I'm just, I feel it. This is the fulfillment of a promise. What is, what is honor? Honor is the thing when you honor a servant of God. We honor God. We honor his anointing. We honor his word. We honor his grace. We honor his servant. We honor his, his things that he's doing. And that brings you into a realm of favor. And favor brings you into a realm of promotion and prosperity. And then you, you begin to flourish in life. So I want to take it all the way back to the beginning to God. I know that sounds like elementary, but it's not. In the secret place of the Most High, we dwell in, 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 and abide in the shadow of the Almighty. Where is that? That's in the will of God and the presence of God right next to where He is. When we're next to Him, when we're with Him, when we're serious about Him, his purpose and what he's doing. He, he, he takes care of things, you know. The scripture says in Hebrews 6.10, he's not unjust to forget our labor of love because we continuously minister to the saints. We're persevering through all kinds of whatever, persecution, wranglings, attacks, undermining, you know, people that do the stupidest things, evildoers. But this is the day and the hour when they will be crushed and we will be raised up. When you're doing things God's way, you can't lose. Somebody said, you can't lose with the stuff I use. I kind of like, it's a cheeky title. But Let me read Isaiah 51 quickly. Verse 1. Listen to me, you who follow after righteousness. Mm -hmm. You get that? Listen to me, you who follow after righteousness. God, God will work things out for us. You will seek, there's a lot of things I could say about that. You will seek, you who seek the Lord, look to the rock from wh where you were hewn from, to, carved out of, and the hole of the pit from which you were dug out of, meaning, meaning we came from nowhere. We were nothings. We, was, we were somethings, but we were in the realms of nothings before God began to do things. I heard a testimony by a great, our, our archbishop friend, great apostle of God, Tremendous. He's blessed because the Lord had me to prophesy there in his church. And he honored my, the anointing upon my life and he received from it. And he's, he's just being elevated in so many ways right now. It's phenomenal. He said, years ago he went to this other apostle who's a giant from another neighboring country. And he wanted to greet him and all the, pro, all the people of bodyguards and protocol said, who are you? He said, it's okay. I'll greet him one day. And on the platform, with Benny Hinn, Pack Stadium, the presidential, uh, uh, the president's wife, now the president's coming today, all of these people, the whole world to see, he reached his hand out and the apostle came over running to him and grabbed his hand. He, got, he says, well, I get to greet you now. And everybody was like, wow, you see so? But there's a process between here and there, you know, and that it doesn't come overnight. The exaltation that came to Abraham was phenomenal. But God said, look back to where you came from. What does that do? It, it lets us stay in humility, you know. He says, I called him apart alone, and then I blessed him and increased him. This was the process of Abraham. And, God, and Isaiah was telling the people, you who follow after righteousness, who seek the Lord, look to Abraham and look at how, what happened with him. He did what? He became the friend of God. He stayed with the process. He began to move into the purpose of God. He obeyed God's voice. Whenever God told him to do something, he did it. He stayed faithful no matter what. He kept moving. 
and then God said, he called him apart alone, separated him first from every from his father's house, from all that foolishness that they were doing in the Ur of Chaldees, moon worshippers, idol worshippers, strange people. The Bible never says anywhere that God blessed Terah, T-E-R-A-H, Abraham's father, Abram's father. Never talked about what he did with him. He was just there. If he got blessed, and I'm sure he did while he was still alive, it's because Abraham was blessed. But God passed the whole system to come to him and call him apart alone, and then he blessed him, and then he increased him. I want to prophesy to you, this is the day and the hour, Shambroko Chalasaya, of elevation and increase, expansion, where God is sorting out things where you didn't know how to sort them out yourself. Tremendous elevation, tremendous expansion. My God, I feel the anointing. And the Lord is going to do it quickly. I'm going to have to pick this up in another session, but I want to leave this word with you. And then it goes on further to say in Isaiah 51, Verse 3, the, he says, For the Lord will comfort Zion, he'll comfort all her waste places. Oh yes, he'll make her wilderness like Eden. You see what I said here? The manifestations of God's promises to us, meaning his, the time of elevation and expansion when it comes. And his fulfillment of personal promises to us will override and crush all frustrations and sufferings. Any despair you've had? Let me tell you, there's a greater day coming. I'm prophesying. There's a greater day coming right now, and it's being fulfilled. Father, thank you for the touch of heaven, the anointing of your grace. Thank you for the expansion of your work. Thank you for the flourishing of people that are connected with this grace and this anointing. You can partner with this grace. The ways to do it are on the screen. I'm taking off here. I love you much. Take this as the word of the Lord. God is overriding and crushing all frustrations, all sufferings, all despair. And he's raising his own elect up. The qualification was those of you who follow after righteousness and seek the Lord. Why well, do we seek the Lord? By doing his will. It's not just like, you know, I take a few minutes and I go, oh yeah, Lord, thank you, hallelujah. You know, really, you know, let's grow up. Let's be adults in our mind. You know, we're intellectuals. We're brilliant. We're high IQ kind of people. Not everybody is, but I certainly am. You know, I don't base my whole life on like, hallelujah, praise the Lord, amen, thank you. You know, that, that's nice, okay? That's good. That's part of, you, know, you can do that. But you got to work. You got to have action. You have to have the plan. You have to have God leading in you, directing you on how to build something with your life. I prophesy to all, the, all good people to the rebels and the devils, I have no promise for you, except repent and escape hell. If you can, if not, it's your own issue. But to the good people who really want to be elevated, you're connected with the right voice. The Lord spoke to me some a couple of weeks ago. He said something amazing to me. He said, my son, I'm going to bring people, and this is a prophetic word, I'm going to bring people from everywhere to be with you. I'm going to build the work. I'm going to, you're going to build something. You're going to build something great across the nations and locally and uh, translocally and nationally, internationally and globally. Uh, and I'm going to bring people to you. You're my voice. My blessing is with you. There are people that are in the wrong place. There, you know, some to some it may be uh, acceptable or okay, but they need to be more. Con they need to be connected with you. And I'm going to bring them from everywhere. And he said, "Don't worry about where they're coming from or how they're coming." I shouted right back to the Lord in the same second. I said, "I, I don't care. Bring them down." Then he told me. How many workers he wants me to have? It's a big number. Big number. I said, bring them. Let's figure it out as we go. So this thing of expansion and elevation and building is here now. Of course, Nehemiah 2, 17 to 20, read that. We'll arise and build. Of course, read Isaiah 60, prophetic chapters. And then this beautiful chapter here of the prophet Isaiah 51, when he talked about Look where you came from, but know this, I'm bringing you to a higher place. I will bless you and increase you. And this is the word of the Lord. All of our sufferings and frustrations, sadness, tears, waiting, wondering, going through things is ending. I love Isaiah 40. He says, Come. I had a problem with this, but I thought in the midst of warfare in a crazy world, Isaiah was told by God to say, comfort my people, comfort Jerusalem, tell her 
her warfare is ended. I was like, wait a minute now. I always had an issue with that. Is the warfare ended? Yes, it has to end for a season, for a good season. God will override all the nonsense that's been going on by his power and his blessing. And this is what's happening right now in our day. Remember Isaiah 54, 17. Isn't Isaiah the greatest prophet? Yet so much is in the book. No weapon formed against you will prosper, and every tongue that rises up against you, you, can, you, you will condemn it, because this is your heritage as my servant. God is raising us up, and he's elevating us. And you can come along for the ride with me to the place of elevation and expansion. So be it in Jesus' name. I'm Thomas Mantha IV. Well, as I'm receiving your, your, your tithes, your seeds, your offerings, you can do it, but the, the links are on the, on the social media there. Uh, I'll be praying for you. The Lord bless you, keep you, make his face to shine upon you, give you his peace, but also give you his power and his prosperity, his provision for his purpose in and through your life in Jesus' name. God bless you, love you, talk to you on the next one. We'll continue this. God bless you. Dear brethren, in Psalms 119, 105, the Bible says, Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Truly, God has sent prophet Dr. Thomas Manton IV to proclaim and declare his word of abundance and prosperity prophetically unto the nations. Thus, brothers and sisters in Christ, I urge you, just as the Bible says in Matthew 10, 41, whoever welcomes a prophet as a prophet will receive a prophet reward. Let us welcome and embrace the prophet of God by supporting his ministry. You can sow a seed, you can send your love offering, you can support or partner in the ministry program using the details displayed on your screen. For when the prophet of God decrees a blessing upon you, indeed, you shall be blessed.